Each month, a good number of eggs, up to 20 eggs, begin to develop in the ovaries under the influence of hormones such as follicle stimulating hormone, FSH. However, usually, only one egg fully matures while the others break down. The mature egg is released 14 days before the next period through the ovulation process, triggered by a surge in luteinizing hormone, LH. The egg is picked up by the finger-like projections into the fallopian tube. The cilia the hair-like structures in the fallopian tube propel the egg toward the largest part of the fallopian tube referred to as the impulla. The egg awaits here for the arrival of the sperm for possible fertilization. The mating and ejaculation process presents millions of sperm cells through the female reproductive tract, the vagina, into the uterus. Millions of sperm embark on this epic quest to meet the egg but only a few hundreds of them reach the coveted destination. Only one the strongest and fastest sperm cell will reach the egg, showcasing nature's incredible selection process. As the one sperm cell approaches the egg, a miraculous event unfolds, the acrosome reaction, allowing the sperm to penetrate the egg's outer layer. Once a sperm successfully enters, the egg undergoes a rapid transformation to prevent other sperm from entering. This union of egg and sperm forms a combined genetic material a zygote, a new, unique genetic blueprint, the first cell of a potentially new human life. The sperm and the egg, each carrying a set of 23 chromosomes, determine your child's genetic blueprint including intelligence, skin, eye color, and physical appearance. By now you can't determine whether the baby will be a boy or a girl, although this has already been determined. By the third day after fertilization, the rapidly dividing cells, the zygote, form a ball-like structure of 32 cells called a morula. Five days post-fertilization, a fluid-filled cavity appears in the middle of the cells dividing it into the outer and the inner cell parts. By now it is called a blastocyst. Seven days post-fertilization, the blastocyst buries itself into the wall of the uterus. This process is called implantation, a critical step for the continuation of pregnancy. The implantation process may cause some women to experience spotting or bleeding at this moment. This kind of cramping and bleeding is called implantation bleeding. This may cause unnecessary anxiety when experienced. The outer part of the blastocyst, called the trophoblast, invades the uterine lining and develops into the placenta and fetal membranes, which facilitate nourishment, gaseous exchange, protection and waste removal. The inner part of the blastocyst develops into a baby whereby by the end of the first trimester, all body organs are fully formed. Therefore, implantation marks the beginning of a new journey, as the blastocyst develops into an embryo. Over the next few weeks, the embryo grows rapidly, forming the foundations of all the major organs and systems. Before embarking on the progress from the second trimester onwards, let's face some reality here. Not all fertilized eggs successfully implant. It's estimated that up to 50% of fertilized eggs may fail to implant, often passing unnoticed. This is a sad reality. For those that do implant, the journey continues. The developing embryo undergoes significant transformations, with vital organs beginning to form. Yet. The path remains fraught with challenges throughout the stages of embryonic development. Miscarriage, or spontaneous abortion, occurs in about 10-20% of known pregnancies, often due to chromosomal abnormalities. This happens to all reproductive age groups but is more rampant in older persons. 
These early losses can be emotionally devastating, reminding us of the fragility of life. As the pregnancy progresses into the second trimester, the baby's bones and organs continue to develop. The first kick could be felt as early as 16 weeks of pregnancy. By now the risk of miscarriage decreases, and the fetus continues to grow, developing the ability to hear, move, and even dream. However, complications can still arise. Preterm birth, defined as delivery before 37 weeks of gestation, affects approximately 10% of pregnancies globally. Preterm infants may face numerous health challenges, including respiratory issues and developmental delays. In some cases, pregnancies can result in stillbirth, where the baby is born without signs of life after 20 weeks of gestation. This tragic outcome occurs in about 1 in 160 pregnancies in the United States, leaving families to cope with profound grief. Despite these potential challenges, the majority of pregnancies culminate in the birth of a healthy baby. After approximately 40 weeks of development, the baby now has trillions of cells. At this point it can signal its readiness to enter the world, leading to the onset of labor. Your baby is now ready to meet you. The moment of birth is a profound culmination of the intricate and miraculous journey that began with a single cell. It's a testament to the resilience of life and the remarkable process of human development. While the path from fertilization to birth is complex and sometimes fraught with challenges, it ultimately leads to the emergence of new life, a journey that underscores the wonder of human existence. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights from Re the Explorer's Life and Learning Hub. I'm Re. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.